Hello, and welcome to the University of North Texas. This presentation is designed to help you understand how and when to apply for financial aid and how and when financial aid and scholarships will apply to your tuition and housing bills. Whether you plan on using all financial aid and scholarship funds or using some in conjunction with another form of payment, the principles and processing of payments are essentially the same. Applying early, being aware of deadlines, and most importantly, being aware of resources and options will help you be financially successful while at UNT. All students are encouraged to identify funding sources as early as they can. Support can come in the form of grants, student and parent loans, scholarships, waivers and exemptions, veterans benefits, prepaid tuition plans, employers, and of course, personal cash and savings accounts. Let's talk a little more in depth about financial aid. To be clear, our definition of financial aid includes grants, college work study, and loans. A grant is funding that does not have to be repaid. College work study is funding that is earned only after a student begins employment. Loans are funds that must be repaid by either the student or parent borrower. To apply for financial aid, students will need to complete the Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or FAFSA. Students will complete this once a year on October 1st from www.fafsa.gov. UNT has a priority date that we encourage students to apply by, and this date is January 15th. As you can see from this time frame, Students have nearly 10 months to apply for financial aid and receive an award letter before the fall semester. One of the eligibility requirements to complete a FAFSA is that a student must be a U.S. citizen or an eligible non-citizen. For students who are not U.S. citizens but are Texas residents, there is the Texas Application for State Financial Aid, or TASFA. This application will open on October 1st just like the FAFSA, and the priority date remains the same. Note, you will complete one application or the other, not both. If you are hoping to be awarded financial aid during summer 2021, you will need to complete the 2020-2021 FAFSA or TASFA and complete UNT Summer Aid Interest Form through your My UNT Student Portal to communicate your interest in summer awards. When calculating your summer aid eligibility at UNT, we will have to take into consideration any financial aid you received during fall 2020 and or spring 2021 from your previous college. Visit financialaid.unt.edu forward slash summer to learn more about summer financial aid, including important deadline information. After you complete your application each fall, check your tasks to-do list located on your My UNT student portal. The to-do list items are designed to guide you through the financial aid process. Instructions on how to complete each item will be provided online. We encourage you to complete all to-do list items prior to January 15th. Of course, the earlier you complete them, the better. If you haven't started the financial aid process yet, it's not too late, but please note Financial aid is a process, and it could take several weeks for you to receive an award letter. You will need to be prepared to utilize the installment plan and or short-term loan options available through UNT's Billing Department Student Financial Services if you don't have access to any other funding. We encourage you to view Student Financial Services presentation next if you haven't already done so. If you have already applied for financial aid and still don't have access to your award letter, check your to-do list. And Eagle Connect email today for communications. If you haven't received any communications or you have questions, contact Student Financial Aid and Scholarships so we can review your status together. If you have received a financial aid offer letter, you'll have noticed that we list estimated costs alongside your aid offers. This is not a bill, but rather an approximation of costs associated with attending UNT. You should compare your estimated costs to your financial aid offers before accepting or declining them. 
You can review, accept, or decline your aid offers through your My UNT Student Portal. You'll need to review your to-do list after you accept your aid offers as there may be new to-do list items tied to the awards you accept. For example, if a student accepts a student loan, then they will be prompted to complete an online loan counseling tutorial. If you have questions about your specific award offers, contact Student Financial Aid and Scholarships so that we can review your awards together. While applying for financial aid is not a requirement, we encourage every student to apply in order to maximize their funding options. Another funding option that we'd like to remind you about is scholarships. Completing a profile in the Eagle Scholarship Portal allows a student to have their information evaluated for academic opportunities matching their admitted student information and also for more specific opportunities that may require additional information to complete, such as an essay. The Eagle Scholarship Portal was formerly the general scholarship application that many of you have already completed. Many scholarships are awarded based on academic merit. However, some also take into account financial need. This is the reason we encourage you to complete your financial aid application each fall. As you progress through your college career, you'll also want to make sure to explore scholarship opportunities through your department of your major. And don't forget to keep looking for external scholarship opportunities from major companies, employers, religious affiliations, and so on. If you have been awarded a scholarship outside of UNT, we encourage you to fax your scholarship award letter to Student Financial Aid and Scholarships now so that way we can incorporate this into your financial aid package. You can submit the actual scholarship check to our office once you are able to pay us a visit in person. Non-Texas residents who receive a UNT competitive scholarship of at least $1,000 could be granted a competitive scholarship waiver, thus making them eligible for in-state Texas resident tuition. Information about other waivers and exemptions can be found on Student Financial Services' website. Students who have questions about how to utilize veteran benefits can contact UNT's dedicated Student Veteran Services Department at 940-369-8021. Inquiries can also be made via email at hazelwood at unt.edu or registrar.veterans at unt.edu for GI Bill questions. Now that you've secured some funding, let's talk more about how and when funds are applied to your UNT bill. After you register for classes, UNT's Billing Department, Student Financial Services, will calculate your direct costs. Direct costs refer to anything UNT charges you directly, such as tuition and fees, and on-campus housing, including meal plans. You can then view your bill online through your My UNT Student Portal. With the exception of cash and money orders, all other payments can be handled electronically or online. Some of your payments will be deducted from your bill as they are received while others, such as financial aid, will remain anticipated until 10 days before the start of a fall or spring semester. Scholarships won't disperse until you have established attendance in your classes. In most instances, summer financial aid won't disperse until you have established half-time attendance in your classes. While your financial aid and scholarships are in an anticipated aid status, UNT's Billing Department, Student Financial Services, will consider these awards to be good as a payment. Here's an example. If your tuition bill is $5,821 and you make an e-check payment for $1,000, your balance due is now $4,821. If you have a scholarship, a grant, and loan that are up to $6,000 in anticipated aid, then you've already met your payment deadline. Now it's just a matter of waiting for these funds to be applied to your account. This is something that will be done automatically for you. Student financial aid and scholarships will disperse funds to student financial services once the funds are eligible for disbursement. Student financial services will then apply the funds to your tuition balance and housing balance when applicable. It's important to note that not all of the awards you accept will count as anticipated aid. College work study and parent loan offers won't appear as anticipated aid. 
Parent loans will appear as anticipated aid only after a parent completes a loan application and is approved for a loan. Your tuition will be due before the start of each semester or summer session. All payment deadlines are published online. If you receive a call, an email, or text from Student Financial Services reminding you about a deadline, please do not ignore it. Check your account information online through your MyUNT student portal and follow up on your funding sources to ensure that they will be in place before a payment is due. Students who won't be able to secure funding before a payment deadline do have options. Student Financial Services offers an installment plan during the fall and spring semesters. The good news is that if you have some funding in place, such as financial aid or scholarships, you can use this to help pay the installment. Students who have not secured any funding also have the option of applying for a short-term tuition loan. Both the installment plan and the short-term loan options can help make your tuition bill more manageable. For more details, visit sfs.unt.edu. On-campus housing charges are also billed through Student Financial Services. Housing charges can be paid in installments throughout the semester. Again, please take note of when payments are due. Once your bill is paid in full, any excess funds will be sent to you in the form of a refund by Student Financial Services. You can select your refund option through your MyUNT student portal today. If you don't select an option, then your refund will be sent to you through the mail in the form of a paper check. Parent loan refunds will be mailed directly to the parent borrower through the mail in the form of a paper check unless they elect to have the refund sent to the student during the parent loan application process. Once you receive your refund, you can use it to pay for education-related expenses such as books, supplies, a parking permit, off-campus costs such as rent, food, and so on. Let's recap this information with this cool illustration. Once classes begin and throughout your college career, student financial aid and scholarships will conduct a series of audits. Both your enrollment and your satisfactory academic progress, or SAP, will be evaluated. Every aid program and scholarship award carries a minimum enrollment requirement. Not meeting this minimum enrollment requirement could impact your current and or future awards. Not meeting any components of UNC's satisfactory academic progress policy could also impact future aid eligibility. The SAP policy states that undergraduate students must maintain a cumulative UNT grade point average of a 2.0. Students must also be passing 67% of their classes that they register for. And they must complete their degree within a certain time frame. We need you to know that if you do find yourself struggling academically, that UNT has countless resources available to you. Reach out early to secure your academic and financial futures. To sum up, once you have identified or applied for funding through UNT or other sources, you will need to always be aware of your account balance and payment deadlines. And you will need to check your MyUNT student portal often as evidenced by the number of times we mentioned it during this presentation. Lastly, this presentation is sponsored by Student Financial Aid and Scholarships. However, we refer referred several of Student Financial Services processes. Our names are very similar and we're both located in the Eagle Student Services Center, ESSC, but we're responsible for very different processes. Here's a list of Student Financial Services processes. When reaching out to either office, please provide your eight-digit student ID so that we can better assist you. Thank you, and welcome to the Mean Green family.